Hey guys, we're back live at E3 from the PlayStation booth, and uh, we're getting close to the end of the day, but we saved one of my favorite games for the end. I am joined by the one and only Mark Mann, and uh, I want to talk Tekken 7. Oh, let's do it. So, Sid, I'm very happy to be here. Hope you're having a good E3. I'm having a lovely E3. How about you? <laughs> I'm having a great one, and excited to talk about a game that we both love. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about Tekken. Oh, yeah, I love Tekken. I've been playing it ever since the first game. I played each and every one, and I've been dying for a PS4 Tekken. Yeah. So, what at a high level, for somebody like me, outside of being on PS4 for yep. the first time, What's the, what's the deal with Tekken 7? What, what, why should I care? So Tekken 7, I mean, obviously the latest Tekken game that we've had was Tekken Tag Tournament 2 on the PS3. But now, finally, with Tekken 7, coming back more to its roots, the one-on-one -on -one fighting, um, it's an amazing chapter to just uh, for any Tekken fan. Uh, you have a lot of stuff going on. You guys probably saw the trailers. Akuma from the Street Fighter series is actually in the game. Lots of love to our friends over at Capcom. But not just that, it really is the culmination, and we've been touting it as the end of the Mishima saga, the really the, the climax of the story. And you're going to be able to experience that. So just recently we announced that the game is going to be coming out early 2017, and there's a lot of stuff that's going to build up to that. So I'm really excited. We have, uh, I believe, the story mode. Uh, the seamless gameplay and integration between the cutscenes that you're going to see right into the gameplay, and that's something I think that fans should really look forward to. This is the first time we've really done that in the series, and I just think it's, it's exciting. I mean, I love the Tekken lore, I love the gameplay, and it's something that fans are just, they're going to go nuts over. That's great, and uh, I know, I think we're seeing a little bit of live gameplay here, or if not, we will shortly. Um, one of the things that's interesting about this game is it's really taken a couple bold steps in the core mechanics side. So, so walk me through what those those highlights are. Yeah, so there's a lot of new systems that we have in place. So one of them is the Rage Art system. So if you're familiar with fighting games, you know in other games there's like super moves and stuff like that. So in Tekken now, there's the inclusion of Rage Attacks, or Rage Arts, I should say. And uh, it's a nice comeback mechanic. Once you get into towards a lower life bar setting, you're able to pull out this really devastating move that could really turn the tide of the battle. Uh, not just that, we have the inclusion of the Rage Drive, which is another way to use that special meter towards the end of the round to really... Uh, have a comeback in your favor, whether it's through a combo or just a key move that you need to pull off at the right time. It's something really cool. And uh, also new is the power crush. It really adds to the, the rock, paper, scissors type of gameplay, the, the mindset. So uh, power crush is what they do is they absorb attacks. Uh, not only do they absorb the attack, they give you an opportunity to do a counter attack back at your opponent and really uh, turn the tides in the, in, in the battle. So I think, uh, you know, being knowing Tekken very well yes. uh, and, and, and being pretty good at it, if I can say so myself, not as good as you, nowhere near as good as you, but, but <laughs> We'll very, find out. We'll find out one day. Very, very confident. I feel it's like the one fighting game I feel like I could kind of brag about. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Dragon Off fan. We were talking about nice, that yep. downstairs. But I, I, I would get the sense that some of these uh, these uh, adaptations, some of these new mechanics and systems, are designed to kind of. Uh, provide a little bit of balance against uh, kind of being completely annihilated by the other opponent, which is a, a legitimate concern, I think, for some players, right? Yeah, I think, you know, for a, a lot of fans out there, especially on the competitive side, it was such an overwhelming task to kind of learn the game, just because, I mean, if you look at the Tekken move list, there's like hundreds of moves for some of these characters, but what we really want to let, pe let people know is like the core gameplay is there. So if you were a fan of like, let's say Tekken 3, yeah. uh, which was a while back, great game, one of the best selling uh, fighting games of all time. If you were familiar with Tekken 3, you could come in here and play like you did in Tekken 3, learn a few moves, and you're going to be able to dominate. You're going to be able to do well. Not only that, if you did want to take it to the next level and actually learn the core aspects of the gameplay, the new screw system, everything, all that stuff, it, it'll be easy. It's, it's not as hard as it used to be. There's a lot of system changes that were in place to make it easier for the player to play. But of course, if you want to master the game, that's still there as well. There's still a high learning curve. That's great. And I, I also know uh, we have a bunch of new characters. I think Shaheen, yeah. we see here, right up here on the screen, you can look up here, yeah. uh, is, uh, he, he's new here. He's the character on the right. So uh, tell me a little bit about how he fits into the, the, the rather large character roster. Yeah, so actually, if you're familiar with Tag Tournament 2, we had uh, close to 50 characters in that game. Uh, this one, we kind of dialed it down, uh, toned it back a little bit. So we have close to 30 characters on the roster for now. There are some characters that are still being worked on that we have not announced yet. But uh, obviously, Shaheen, a new, uh, new, new fighter in the series. Uh, we actually have quite a few number of characters. So there's the cat girl, Lucky Chloe, from Japan. Uh, we also have Kazumi uh, Mishima, who plays an integral part of the storyline. Oh, this uh, is the wife of Heihachi. The wife of Heihachi. That's amazing. Yeah, like, who knew he was, I, I guess, Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> but uh, apparently, she has a special connection with uh, Akuma from the Street Fighter series, and they're, they're going at it against Heihachi. Interesting. So not only that, there's a, a ton of new characters. Uh, Josie Rizal from the Philippines. There's all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, I just hope that fans are looking forward to more announcements in the near future. So there's actually a lot of opportunities to play the game. And I think one of the biggest one is uh, Evo next month, the biggest gaming competitive 
competitive gaming event in the world. If you guys check that out, uh, Tekken 7 will obviously be a main game at that event. I awesome. hope everyone looks forward to that as well. Yeah, it's great. I know, uh, I think that's the first one Street Fighter V is going to be uh, there too, right? Correct. It's going to be a massive, like, it's going to be a great game. Uh, PlayStation fans probably have a lot to look forward to just when, when it comes to fighting games in general, and EVO is one of those events. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's, that's got to be the biggest lineup in EVO history. I mean, that's, a, that's, some, that's some serious business there. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm looking at this arena here. We're getting, yeah. We have live gameplay right now. Oh, of, you might uh, remember this one. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I know this one. This is from Tekken 5. Correct. So this is the Dragon Nest stage, which is actually making its comeback from the, the Tekken 5 series, like you said. And uh, what the development team is doing is they're taking a lot of feedback. They're trying to see what fans liked and what they did. So one of the cool things is they are uh, bringing back retro stages. So t this is Dragon's Nest. Awesome. So hopefully we'll see a lot more of this kind of stuff in the future. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But either way, obviously, it's harkening back to a lot of the old gameplay elements that we've come to know and love throughout the history of the Tekken franchise. Absolutely. Uh, another thing that's, that's worth calling out here about Tekken 7 is uh, some new rendering technology, some yeah. new technology being harnessed here, kind of bringing the game like up to like, you know, kind of really modern uh, spec with a yep. lot of like special effects. I think it uses Unreal now, Unreal right? Engine 4, that's yeah. correct. So, I mean, obviously the graphical powerhouse, uh, you guys can really tell, I mean, it's, the stream sometimes won't do it justice, but yeah. once you actually see the game in person, you'll notice how beautiful it is, the different elements that are going on, whether it's weathering, we weathering on clothing, the actual weather effects on the stage, they used a lot of detail that you can't really see and that you would really come to appreciate once you see it in person. So I hope everyone looks forward to that. That's great, and we, uh, we got uh, Akuma here. I, yeah. I gotta check this guy out. So. Uh, and it's been an interesting saga, I think, with Street Fighter and Tekken kind of getting pe peanut butter in each other's chocolate here for a couple of years. I know there's a big one that everyone's hoping to see at some point. Won't get into that here, but we, at least we got Akuma. Talk to me a little bit about how Akuma fits into the roster. Actually, it's interesting that you bring that up. So the development team, uh, harada -san mentioned that they were actually looking to see how Kakuma would do in Tekken 7 to like, kind of give them an idea of how, and uh, player feedback on how it would go for a possible Tekken Cross Street yeah. Fighter. But uh, not only that, I think just from a player standpoint, and I've been playing Akuma a lot, he's my main character now in Tekken 7. Nice. He, his transition from the Street Fighter series, if you're familiar with how uh, Street Fighter plays, it's uh, a really seamless integration. I mean, you could play him how, how you did in Street Fighter. Not only that, he has a ton of new moves that make him more Tekken-like, and it's actually really exciting to see how he's made this uh, transition into the 3D realm. Uh, obviously, Tekken, we've been playing for a long time, so we're used to doing all kinds of different motions. But not only that, I think the Street Fighter moves, if you're used to the dragon punches, the fireballs, yeah. and all that stuff, they come out like butter. It's amazing. Yeah, and there he just did uh, Shoryuken. Yeah. I don't know if he has a different name in, uh, for him, but uh, same idea. Yeah. Dragon Punch. Dragon Punch, indeed. Uh, so, yeah, one of the things, um, we were talking about this downstairs in the green room. Oh, boy. Oh, what he hit this? the Raging this? Demon. So, I mean, if you're familiar with his finishing move from the Street Fighter series, he has that as well. That's his Rage art. Awesome. So, it's, that, I was just talking about the devastating moves for the comeback, and he obviously finished off his opponent with that. <laughs> so, that was great. So, the computer is doing work right there. So Yeah. So, uh, I, we had talked a little bit about um, kind of my love-hate relationship with uh, The Bound, which has another name in Japanese. Uh, Japanese that I cannot pronounce, but uh, I call it the bound. I yes. think that's the sort of anglicized way to say it. And uh, now, now there's sort of that's kind of gone away in favor of kind of this screw attack yes. you were talking about. So tell me a little bit about how that fits in. So bound was first introduced in uh, Tekken 6, and uh, it was a, a gameplay change that was very uh, drastic at the time. It uh, caused for longer combos, and a lot of people, uh, especially the, the hardcore fans, were like, "Oh man, these combos take too long. I'm yeah. in the air for so long. I'm at the wall. I'm stuck. What do I do?" So the screw attack system is really uh, kind of a bounce. You got to think about: Do I want to do wall carry? Do I want to do damage or do I want to do something flashy? It really gives you more options and uh, more freedom as far as doing it. cool combos. I get it. So, so it's something that's in the game, but you don't necessarily have to use it to be able to compete at the highest levels. That's good to know. So it uh, looks like we just chose, uh, what's, what's Hihachi's wife's name again? Ah, uh, Kazumi. Kazumi. It looks like that's who we're going with here. I really am actually very interested in seeing this because, um, I, I, again, I just can't get over the fact that Hihachi's married. Yeah. Well, Kazuya had to come from somewhere, I guess. I guess so, But right? I guess we're not talking about parenting here, but I think Kazumi, obviously, a great addition to the roster. I've been able to play her for a bit. Uh, you'll notice she has, like, spiritual tigers that fight with her, and that's oh, not... Oh, that's I guess that that's character. probably why she has, like, uh, Heihachi on his gi, he has a tiger on his okay, back. So okay, okay. So it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I have seen her in a, in a couple streams. I mean, the game's been out in Japan for a bit now, uh, so I've been kind of taking a peek wherever I can, but I'm just, I'm really, like... I need this game on my PS4 now. Well, you won't have that much long to wait. So okay. early 2017, I guess we'll get each other's uh, PSN IDs yeah. and we'll be able to play. Yeah, and then you can crush me. You can uh, absolutely annihilate uh, we'll, me. We'll learn the game together. That's the thing. <laughs> See, my, my, my Tekken uh, approach is 
you can beat me a lot in the beginning, but I will slowly adapt to your character, and then I will begin to be unstoppable. That's kind of how I play. I think that's the great thing about Tekken, though. I think, uh, in general, there's a lot that you can learn from the game and yeah. from yourself, and you're able to adapt. Because like we were talking about earlier, not everybody plays the same. Yep. And there's always that learning curve where you're going to learn the matchups and learn the players. Yep, yep. And I think that's going to be a, just a great thing for people to experience together, especially with online play. If you play Tag 2 online, you know the Neko is amazing. So I'm really looking forward to the title releasing early 2017. That's great. And uh, arcade stick support, can you tell me any, anything about that scene right now? Everything's or? being worked out right now. Nothing's okay. been finalized, obviously, but hopefully everything will be good to go and we'll be able to please the fans. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, and again, you know, character customization has been a big part of the game now for a while. Uh, Brian Fury, another favorite of mine. I got yeah. a lot of favorites, man. Uh, but Brian Fury has been a favorite of mine for a while now, and uh, I like this bandana look, this skull bandana. Yeah, man, he has a new look going on. I, I, oh, there's a tiger. When I first saw it, I was like, whoa, that's really bad. That's amazing looking. I mean, we were talking about the tiger, but Kazumi, I mean, I guess that's the real tiger uppercut, I guess. You know, I mean, how old is Heihachi at this point? I mean, he's got to be a 95 or something. You know, I don't know the exact age, but he's up there. He's yeah, up he's there. getting up there. His wife looks pretty good, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, that's great. Yeah, so that's that, awesome. and then that's another reason. I mean, when they talk about concluding the Mishima saga and the storyline for the series, I really want to see how this all comes together because it's kind of crazy if you just look at it from an outsider perspective. Yeah, it's 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 great, and uh, I mean, what, what more can I say? I mean, I, I've been a lucky guy here this last couple of days. I've got to have all my favorite games up here. I got to talk to all the folks behind them. So, Mark, man. I love that you could stop by. Really appreciate it. We're all looking forward to Evo. We're very happy to be here, and I hope everyone's looking forward to more Tekken.